okay so problem stone vertically upward from earth return to earth in 5 seconds how high does the stone reach also determine the velocity which it is thrown so first of all write on given data the total time given total time total time for reach the on ground on ground in five seconds in five seconds okay in five seconds so that means it is t is equal to it is given five seconds t is equal to it is given five seconds five seconds okay so total time required to reach this stone from a to b and b to a it is in five seconds okay so it is travel a to b then b to a so that's time to we get t is equal to five seconds okay so now use this relation for this s is equal to ut minus ut minus one half one by two one half one half one half gt square one half gt square okay half gt square one half gt square gt square so here the stone it is travels how much distance a to b then b to a so what distance it is travel a to a it will be zero that is means s is equal to it is zero s is equal to it is zero we just put here all this value zero is equal to u into t it is five second then minus one half one half one half one half g it is acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 9.81 into t it is again phi square phi square okay so from this relation it you get u value okay so right now u into five u into five u into five is equal to is equal to so one half into nine point eight one into five square. So it will be one twenty two point six two five six two five. So from this relation it will get velocity u is equal to one twenty two point six two five divided by five. So it will be twenty four point five two five five two five meter per second meter per second. Okay. So question was. How high does the stone reach? And also determine the velocity with which it is thrown. So velocity with it is thrown 24.525 meter per second. Okay. Then next question it is how high does the same reach? Okay. That means we need to maximum height. So calculate maximum height. So second question it is maximum height. Maximum height. So for this relation, we need to calculate. Use this formula for that. V square is equal to V square is equal to V square is equal to U square U square U square U square minus minus 2gs minus 2g s okay so here s it is capital h so here when maximum height so it is travel a to b then final velocity it is here zero okay when when stone change this direction so first it will be at zero then it will be changed in downward direction first a to b it is travel upward direction so when we will reach at maximum height final velocity will be get zero then it will become in downward direction so v is equal to here zero v is equal to here zero 
and initial velocity we are calculated in 24.525 meter per second. Let's put here this. Okay. So V is equal to 0. 0 is equal to U square. U square. U square minus 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 2G. As it is, total height it is H. Okay. And U square is equal to U square is equal to U square is equal to this 2GH 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 okay. So H is equal to here H is equal to U square divided by U square divided by U square divided by 2G U square divided by 2G 2G, 2G, okay. So just put U square. It is 24.24.525525 divided by divided by 2G. G it is acceleration due to gravity. It is 9.81. So from this relation, it will be maximum height so how does how high does the stone so that is you will get 24.525 divided by 2 into 9.81 so it will be 1.2 sorry this one it is square square so it is square so 24.525 square divided by into 9.81 it will be 30.656 so right now h is equal to 30.656 meter okay so h is equal to h is equal to 30.656 meter Thirty point six five six meter. Okay. So question first: How how high does the stone reach? So stone reached at thirty point six five six meter high, and determine the velocity with which it is thrown. So at what velocity the stone it is thrown? So that is twenty four point five two five meter per second. Okay. This is your final answer.